Hey, what's good everyone? Thanks for checking out this State of the K2 video. In this one, I'm going to be basically showcasing this castle fortress that you can get. So anyways, yeah, let's go ahead and dive into this base, shall we? I'm actually going to go over here and enter in this gigantic parking lot. Look at all this space, guys. Look at all this freaking space. This is my vehicle. Oh yeah, this is my ride in my garage. Just hanging out here in my garage. Oh, oh crap. Oh, dang. Oh, come on, rip. This is horrible. I'm supposed to be showcasing like a professional here. I guess, you know, I should show you guys where this is even located at. It's located right here, and it's in Drucker County. And this base didn't cost 3500 in case some of you guys are thinking that. I think it costs like 1500 I believe that was the price, or 1000 I'm not exactly sure. Okay, back to the tour. These are my vans. This has nothing to do with the base. Gosh, come on, Rifle. What are you doing here? You don't gotta be talking about vans. Work on your rambling, dude. So, uh, yeah. Good point. I, I guess I'll take you guys to what you can get from this base. The coolest thing is this drive-in theater that is built in this. I mean, this is, after all, a castle drive-in. As you see out here. Anybody Check out that. I could use some help here. Yeah, that's what they're watching it on. So yeah, anyways, the coolest thing about this drive-in theater modification to this space is this. Watch training videos. It will actually level up your characters. Literally all the skills. This is like the fastest way to level up your skills right here at this base using watch training videos. You're gonna just have to take over a power supply or install a portable generator. They also got classic movie night, and as you guys can see, obviously, it increases the morale, and uh, you do get quite a large zombie threat, but typically this place is well defended by your survivors that you have here. You're able to defend it pretty easily, at least in my experience. I guess I could show around this space. It looks pretty freaking sweet, although it is supposed to be a drive-in. As you can see, once again, you know, the movie theater gives it away, but also, like, before you enter into the place, up here, this sign says Knight's Family Drive-In. It's pretty cool. And yeah, this is the outside of it. Two parking spots right here. And then if we go in. It's like, what the? That alligator's wearing a cone. <laughs> what? I never noticed this. Oh, that's great. Yeah, then. If we go in, you know, you got your setup here going on. Supply locker straight back. It's whatever you have set up. Out there I got the infirmary and a barracks. But yeah, supply locker in here. Just giving you guys a little detour of the place. But uh, yeah, what I have outside here, as you can see, I got a workshop. Got a barracks over here and some more outdoor beds right here. Also, you can climb up this and your allies will too to get good angles on zombies trying to intrude, like this guy. Oh, there. Oh, okay. That works. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for out here. I'll go ahead and take you guys around back now. There's a fire pit back here, and this actually lights up at night time it's pretty sweet looks nice i'm not gonna lie and also players spawn back here too and not to mention there's restrooms i know what some of you guys are thinking holy crap these are disgusting yeah i agree you can actually increase your morale for your base by cleaning them up it's pretty cool as you can see i'm in progress right now doing it um Go ahead and take you guys upstairs, I guess, too. There's also a little alleyway you can take that way to go around back to the front. This is what the upstairs looks like. People sit here every now and then. And also we got the projector here, which I had to say would be freaking awesome to have in a zombie apocalypse. Like, you already know these are extremely rare. <laughs> Dang, this is sweet. Too bad that isn't fixed or you can't fix that up. Like, I really want to fix that screen up. Still. Pretty cool. It's the most unique feature about this space, honestly. 
how it just levels up your characters like crazy. I mean, check this out if you don't believe me. Look at all my characters, for instance. <laughs> They're just all maxed out, pretty much, anyways. It's insane. And I pretty much leveled them up from this movie theater. Just constantly replaying it when I could. Yeah. Pretty cool. Anyways, up here, got your uh, storage and your infirmary. Of course, there will be difference for you. I don't know how you guys are going to decide to set up the base. For instance, you could have a garden. I typically do have a garden in my base. At the moment, I got a workshop. This is it, though, guys. Oh, oh. let's go over there, actually. Pretty freaking sweet. This is all the land to the base. And what's cool about it is it's kind of like a funnel. Like the zombies have to enter through a certain way, you know? Like coming into here. And the wall surrounds the whole base. It's pretty awesome. I'm yeah. Well, that's good. good. Okay. Oh, they're going to the bomb. Have fun, fellas. Come to me. Guess I could show you this side over here as well. We have to turn on the boombox. I'll turn it on in here. <laughs> it's going down. Bring me lots of zombies. Oh, we got a horde. Nice. Portable generator is done. Plant a couple of these just for the heck of it. It's a party, guys. Too bad that's all that came out of that many. Come on. Look at this guy. Oh, wait. Oh, no. What the heck? Oh, oh God. Oh, oh no. Uh, who farted? And so I've been here for quite some time now. I think like 15 days or something. I've been at this base. But yeah, that's all I really wanted to show you for this. Hope you guys found this video enjoyable. Oh, look, we're having a little shootout. This is what I was wanting. I've killed so many zombies around this area, so it makes sense why there's not many that's coming. Good job, Conrad. Good job. Anyways, yeah, if you found this video enjoyable, it would be greatly appreciated if you could take a little bit of your time and leave a like. In case you guys don't know, I am doing a giveaway on my channel right now. The winner will actually get to choose from three different consoles out of a Nintendo Switch, Xbox One, or a PS4. And all you guys have to do to have a chance at winning this is simply leave a like on the video to show some support. Subscribe if you haven't and click the bell to stay notified. That'd be greatly appreciated. And comment down below what you enjoyed about this base or what's your favorite base in State of Decay 2. That'll let me know who actually is participating in this giveaway. And it'll be ending here in about three weeks now. So yeah, just thought I'd let you guys know that in case you guys didn't know that was going on. Till next time, though, peace.